How many of you think you're good at what you do? Just put your hand up. If you think, yeah, I'm good at what I do. This is when you'll know that you're in England, by the way. Um, Because, okay, some people put their hands up. Hands up if you think you're great at what you do. Okay, a few people put their hands up. If you notice how lots of people haven't actually put their hands up, which is fair enough, who thinks they're crap at what they do? Just put your hand up. Okay, no one's put their hand up. Who thinks they're average at what they do? Average. You're just average. Okay, someone's put their hand up. Who thinks they're good at what they do? Everyone needs to put their hand up for one of these, okay? Good. <laughs> hands up who thinks they're great at what they do. Okay, and hands up who thinks they're exceptional at what they do. Okay, so would you not agree that there is room for improvement? Would you not agree? Oh, uh, by the way, do you know what the first sign of madness is? Does anyone know what the first sign of madness is? Uh, No, that's the fourth sign. Does anyone know what the first sign of madness is? It's having hairs on the palm of your hands. That's the second sign, looking for hairs on the palm of your hands. The third sign, this is when you've really got a problem, is when you've got hairs on the palm of your hands. And the fourth sign of madness... So they say, whoever they are, is talking to yourself. And if the fourth sign of madness was talking to yourself, how many of you, you're not mad, you're actually schizophrenic? Because (laughs) schizophrenia is when you have more than one voice inside your head. How many of you right now, since I've been standing up here talking, you're having a massive conversation with yourself? I mean, I have no idea what you're talking about, but it's probably a load of old rubbish. It probably is a complete waste of time and doesn't make any sense. Do you know how many thoughts it's estimated that human beings have in a typical day? How many thoughts, on average? Give me a number, guess. Loads. Loads? Can you give me a number? (laughs) Can you just guess? Make it up. Four? A million? million? Who reckons more than a million? Ten million? million? In a one day, how many thoughts you have? Wow, you'd be busy. (laughs) Be a busy day. I mean, it's estimated that we have, on average, between 12,000 and 60,000 thoughts in one day. I don't know how they worked that out. I mean, what a thing to work out. Was someone just standing there going, yep, okay. (laughs) Okay, it's 24 hours, and that's 60,000. Well done. You've won a prize. The fact is that most of us don't really talk about what we think. Just imagine this. If we could write down everything you thought in one day, you could write it down, and it was like, because it would be probably pretty big, of what you've written, and me too, and we've all done it, and then we could all swap round, and we could all read what each one of us would think in, on a daily basis. What observations do you think we would make? What sort of common patterns would we have? Sorry? Crazy? crazy? We say, That's a bit crazy. What other observations would, you, would we make? I probably think we would see quite a bit of self-doubt, we'd see a bit of stress, a bit of anxiety, Maybe we'd, feel, maybe we'd see some happiness, maybe we'd see some joy and some passion. I don't know, but the thing about the quality of our life, I think, comes down to something very, very, very simple. Do you not agree that the quality of our life probably is quite simple, but we make our life more complicated than they need to be?